Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Interchange 3, Force Edition Unit 2, Part 2 Vocab Book The words and their meaning in English Please, don't use Arabic No Arabic 7. Stuff Stuff Also, we can say stuff Things Things So stuff, substance, things. Equipment, necessary tools. That's ridiculous. That sounds that sounds silly. That sounds silly. That sounds ridiculous. A cartoon character, a cartoon character. You know, cartoon characters such as Tom and Jerry, Nemo. Greet people, greet with E. Not great, no, greet. Greet people, wave, wave to people. Intern, intern, an intern is answering phones. An intern is answering phones. Landscaper. Landscaper. Landscape garden. Landscape gardener. Landscape gardener. Landscaper. Landscape gardener. Eight words of exercise number eight. An interior. An interior decorator. An interior decorator. Decorator. T, soft D between two vowels, A and O. An interior decorator. Secret agent. Secret. Secret agent. A person whose job is to get secret information. Vet. Veterinarian. Veterinarian. British, American, very, veterinarian, veterinarian, T of D, veterinarian, animal doctor, soccer, soccer coach, football trainer, aerobics, aerobics, physical exercises, instructor, teacher, instructor, Teacher Choir Director Choir Director A group of people who sing together, especially in a church. This word British church are silent. American church. Choir director, a group of people who sing together, especially in a church. Orchestra conductor, orchestra conductor. 11. Working conditions. Working conditions. Working conditions. So here S S Z. Conditions. Working conditions. Working hours. Working hours. H silent and S S Z. Tutor. British tutor are silent. Say tutor. But American tutor. 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 T, soft D, and R as error. Tutor. A teacher who works with one student or a small group. Tutor. A teacher who works with one student or a small group. Quit. Quit. Leave work. Persuade. Persuade. Convince. Believe it or not. Would you believe it? Believe it or not. Would you believe it? 
a bunch of students, a bunch of students, a group of students, a group of students. Script, text, thirteen, words of exercise number thirteen. IT information technology resume resume CV distinguish yourself make yourself noticeable in a positive way distinguish yourself distinguish yourself make yourself noticeable in a positive way positive T S F D applicant applicant a person who formally requests a job. A person who requests a job. So this is applicant. Person who requests a job. Aim, put goals. Modest, humble. Modest, humble. Stuff. Oh. Stuff, things. Stuff, things. Diagnostic, diagnostic. Diagnostic, a judgment about an illness. A judgment about an illness or problem after examining. Diagnostic. Specialized people. Specialized people, experts. Professional people, specialist people, experts, professional people. MRI, 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 magnetic resonance imaging. MRI, magnetic resonance imaging. Resonance. The quality of being clear. So this means here to take images, clear images, by using, of course, magnetic or by using magnetism. This is when someone is sick, so they use MRI rays. Scanning. To look at something, to look at something carefully with the eyes or with the machine. So we're scanning to look at something carefully. Scanning to look at something carefully. Suited. Suited. Right for someone or something. Right for someone or something. Sociable. Outgoing. Friendly. Realize. Understand. Realize understand so you must try to keep the words in english not in arabic we don't use arabic interchange three for sedation unit two part two seven exercise seven conversation you get a great tan what's tan tan means to change the color of your skin. Here, look at the picture. What do you see? A young man, he is an employee, is an intern, is answering the phone. It's called Cool Mix in Cool Mix Company. Cool Mix for Records. So this is an intern, means an employee or a person who works in a company but indoors, indoors. Second picture, what do you see? This is of course a young man in his planting, planting trees. He's working in a garden. Green Acres Landscaping. This is a name of a company. A company for landscaping. Landscaping company. They cut grass. 
So what's his job? He's a landscaper. A landscaper. A landscaper is a person who takes care, who takes care of gardens and plants, who cuts the grass. This is over here. These are some grass. Who cuts the grass? Which is better, to work as an intern, an employee in a company? Or to work as a landscaper outside in open air, outdoor. Which of which? Listen. Page eleven, exercise seven, conversation. You get a great tan. Part A. Listen and practice. Guess what? I found a summer job. That's great. Anything interesting? Yes. Working at an amusement park. Wow, that sounds fantastic. So, have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I have a couple of leads. One is working as an intern for a record company, mostly answering phones. Or I can get a landscaping job again. Being an intern sounds more interesting than landscaping. You'd have better hours, and it's probably not as much work. Yeah, but a landscaper earns more than an intern. And you get a great tan. So this is Tracy and Mark. Yeah. Guess what? Guess. Think. I have a surprise. Guess what? I have found summer job. 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 British American job. And I found. I have. I've. I found summer job means job during summer on vacation. That's great. Anything interesting? Interesting e silent. Interesting. Don't say interesting. No, wrong, wrong. Say interesting. Yes, working at an amusement park. Amusement park. A very big garden for having fun. In Egypt, here we have dream park. It's an amusement park. Wow, that sounds fantastic. So, have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I, but I, but I, but I have a couple of leads. One is working as an intern for a record company to work as an employee. For a record for a record company, mostly answering phones. So he gonna work as an employee in the company to answer phones. This is of course indoors inside the company. Or I can get a landscaping job again. I can work as a landscaper, a landscaping job to cut the grass, taking care of. Of plants and gardens, being an intern sounds more interesting. Being an intern is more interesting than landscaping. This is, of course, more exciting. You'd you'd have better hours, and it's probably not as much work. So, if you work as an intern, this is more exciting, interesting, and. You'd have better hours. You'd have, you'd have, you would have. You'd have better hours. You have good hours to work. You have certain time to go to work and finish. And of course, you don't exert a lot of effort, like working as a landscaper. Yeah, but a landscaper earns more than an intern. A landscaper earns more money. And you get a great tan. You will have wonderful tan. You will change the color of your skin because you work all the time in the sun. You work outdoors. So now let's answer some questions about the conversation between Tracy and Mark. What are Tracy and Mark talking about? They're talking about 
summer jobs. What about Tracy? Where will she work? Tracy is going to work at an amusement park. At an amusement park. What about Mark? Mark has two jobs. Two summer jobs. The first one, working as an intern for a record company. What is Mark gonna do? He's going to answer phones. What is the second job for Mark? He can get a landscaping job again. He can work as a landscaper. Which is more interesting, working as a landscaper or as an intern? Being an intern sounds more interesting than landscaping. Which is more relaxing? Being an intern is more relaxing than landscaping. You'd have better hours. Which is easier? Working as an intern is easier. It's easier than working as a landscaper. What about money? Who earns a lot of money? A landscaper earns more money than an intern. Also, a landscaper get a great tan, so tan to change the color of the skin. B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Tracy gonna do at the amusement park? Page 11, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Tracy going to do at the amusement park? So what will you be doing at the amusement park exactly? Actually, I'll have two jobs. First, I'll be working at a place called Children's World. They have all kinds of interesting games and educational activities for young kids. I have to go to a training program for three days before I start. Three days? Wow. The equipment must be pretty high-tech. Oh, it is. A lot of computers and interesting devices. It's just the kind of stuff that kids love. Well, it sounds like the perfect job for you. I know how much you love kids. So what's your other job? Well, I'll also be one of the people who walks around the park greeting people. Do you mean you'll have to dress up in a costume? Yes, as a cartoon character. I know, I know, it sounds silly. And it's certainly not as rewarding as working in children's world, but it's part of the job. Tracy is going to work at children's world at the amusement park where she'll, she'll teach young kids interesting games and educational activities. Also, she will wear a costume and greet people around the park. She's going to wear a cartoon character to greet kids like Tom, Jerry, Teddy Bear. Exercise number eight, grammar focus, comparisons. We're in, this, in this exercise, we're going to take comparisons with adjectives, with nouns, with verbs, and with past participles, with PP. Page 11, Exercise 8, Grammar Focus. Comparisons with adjectives. Is more interesting than... Is less interesting than... Is harder than... Is not as hard as... With nouns. Has better hours than... 
has worse hours than, has more education than, isn't as much work as, with verbs, earns more than, earns less than, earns as much as, doesn't earn as much as, with past participles, is better paid than, is as well paid as, isn't as well paid as, Comparisons. Comparison with adjectives. Here, we use the comparison. Remember, when we have adjective, we put ER. If the adjective is small adjective or it doesn't have two vowels, two separate vowels, we put ER. Put ER like A is harder than B. But if it's a big adjective, it has more than six letters, and you have two vowels in separate parts, like E, E, and I. So here, put more, less, adjective, than, more expensive than. Example, BMW is more expensive than Fiat. Fiat, Fiat car, a Fiat car is less, is less expensive than a BMW car. Working as a landscaper is harder than working as an intern. So this is the adjectives. How to compare between two but use nouns. Here, has better, you know, good, better. Worse, bad, worse. Hours than the noun. Working as an intern has better hours than working as a landscaper. Has more education than B, A and B. One is number A and number B. You compare between two. A doctor has more education than a nurse. A doctor has more education than a nurse. So we put here verb to have, like he, she, it has, we, they, I have, plus more, noun, than. A doctor has more education than a nurse. is not as much work as is or isn't as much non count noun as non count noun uncountable noun a noun that i cannot count with verbs with verbs here you have earns more less than earns as much as doesn't earn as much as so here we use the verb earn or any verb. You have a verb more less than as much as as much as plus number two or the second part b a and b. Example: A doctor earns more than a nurse. A bank manager earns as much as a surgeon a surgeon doctor who makes surgeries a nurse doesn't earn as much as a doctor with past participle past participle here's the pp you have the verb in present past and the last thing pp past Participle. Pay, present, the past, paid, the PP, paid. So here we use the PP as an adjective. A is better paid than B. 
A doctor is better paid than a nurse. A doctor is as well paid as an accountant in a bank. A doctor is not as well paid as a bank manager. So here we took comparison between two people, two things, between any two. You can use adjectives, nouns, verbs, and past participle. And now let's have this wonderful presentation with Mr. Kyle Ralphson. Today we're going to be comparing jobs, and specifically we're going to be comparing a dentist's job versus a mechanic's job. So let's get started. So first let's start by comparing with adjectives. Adjectives are describing words. So for example, clean, dirty, and difficult are all adjectives. So I'm going to use these to compare being a dentist and being a mechanic. So let's start. Now, if I'm using one syllable or a Y ending, when I use an adjective to compare, I use the adjective and ER or the adjective and IER. So let's think which syllables are one, so which adjectives are one syllable? Well, the answer is clean and dirty. So I'm going to say being a dentist is cleaner than being a mechanic. Or, just as an example, being a dentist is dirtier than being a mechanic. Okay? I could also say being a mechanic is dirtier than being a dentist, if I believe that to be true. But the idea is that when it's one syllable, I use ER, for example, clean, ER, cleaner, and dirty, because it has a Y ending, I use the IER, so dirtier. Now, when I have two or more syllables, for example, difficult, that's three syllables, difficult, then I need to use more. So I'm going to say, being a dentist is more difficult than being a mechanic. Now, let's look at when I want to use something less. If I want to say something is not more, but the opposite, less. Then I can use the adjective, but I don't do anything. So I can say, being a dentist is less dirty than being a mechanic. Being a dentist is less clean than being a mechanic. Or being a dentist is less difficult than being a mechanic. And notice I am not changing the adjective. I'm using the normal adjective when I use less. Okay. So again, using the comparison with the adjectives, I need to think one syllable, ER. Y ending, IER. Two or more syllables, I use more. And for any adjective, I can use less and don't change the adjective. Good. Okay. So let's look at some more adjectives like educated and expensive. And I want you to think that between a mechanic and a dentist, are these equal or unequal adjectives that they have? Let's look at expensive. Um, do you think a mechanic is more expensive or a dentist is more expensive? if you visit. Well, in my opinion, I think they are the same. I think that they are equal. So, if I think they are equal, I'm going to say a mechanic is as expensive as a dentist. Now, notice when I use as, and then the normal adjective, and then again as, that's when I think that the two things are equal. I'm not really comparing them, I'm saying that they are equal. Okay. Now, if I think something is unequal, for example, educated, right? I think a dentist definitely is more educated than a mechanic. So I'm going to use the negative. I'm going to say a mechanic isn't as educated as a dentist. So notice when I'm using the negative isn't, and I'm still using as and as, 
But now it's saying that they are unequal. So this says that the dentist is more educated. So that's when I want to say if things are equal or unequal with my adjective. I use as and as. Or maybe isn't as and again as. And also the normal adjective. Good. Okay, so we're going to look at the last way that we compare using adjectives. Now, we're going to use a special type of adjective for this, and that's a past participle that we use like an adjective. Now, a past participle, if you remember, is a type of verb. It's the form of a verb. We have the base form of a verb, which is things like these. We have a simple past, right? And then we have another one called the past participle. So let's think. What's the past participle of pay? Let's pay. Educate? Educated. Trust? Trusted. Respect? Respected. Now, I can use past participles just like adjectives, okay? Not all past participles, but some past participles I can use like an adjective. And if I use them like an adjective, I can compare them too, okay? So if I think a dentist, right, and a mechanic, I'm going to look at the first idea, paid, okay? Well, if I think of the quantity of pay, I can use more and less. The quality, oh, we can use better and worse, and I can compare them. So a dentist is more paid than a mechanic. Or a dentist maybe is better paid than a mechanic. So the quantity of the pay is more, and the quality of the pay is better. Okay, so I'm using that past participle as an adjective with more, less, better, and worse. Okay, let's look at the next one. Educated. Okay, who's more educated? Mechanic or a dentist? Well, I think a dentist. So I could say a dentist is more educated than a mechanic, right? Obviously they have more education. But maybe I can think the quality, too. And I could think, well, yeah, a dentist is better educated than a mechanic, right? They have a better quality of education. Okay, now I'm going to change these a little bit. And we'll see how I can use the things with less and worse. Trust for example, and the past participle trusted as an adjective. Who do you think do you trust more, your dentist or the mechanic? Personally, I don't trust the mechanic. They never give me a, a good price for the fixing of the car. So I'm going to say a mechanic is less trusted than a dentist. Okay. Um, let's look at, for example, respect. Again, I could think, well, which one do you, which one do you respect more, a mechanic or a dentist? Well, I respect the mechanic less. So I'm going to say uh, a mechanic is less respected. Let's look at pay. Who is paid more? Well, definitely a dentist is paid more or paid better. I can say a mechanic is paid worse or maybe paid less, right? A mechanic is less paid or a mechanic is worse paid. Same thing with education. I can think a mechanic is worse educated than a dentist, okay? So this is how I'm using the past participle with adjectives, okay? And I'm using that to compare using the quantity, thinking more of the adjective or less of the adjective. Also with quality, I can use better and the adjective and worse and the adjective. Good. Okay, so we're going to look at another type of comparing, comparing with nouns. Remember, nouns are like things that are ideas, objects, things, okay? So for example, education, education is an idea, that's a noun. Money is an object, that's a noun. Tools, tools are these things. So this is a mechanics tools, these are dentist tools, they're objects, so those are nouns. And clients, clients are the people that go to a business, and again, those are nouns. So how can we compare using these things? Well, you can think that um, using more and less, you can talk about the quantity of a noun. If you use better and worse, you can talk about the quality of a noun. And we can use an, another type of comparative adjective to, to also talk about what type of a noun are we comparing. So let's just put these in here. Education, money, uh, clients, and tools, for example. So you can think of your own sentences, but for example, I think a dentist has more education than a mechanic, okay? I think that a dentist also has uh, more money than a mechanic, okay? 
I think that a dentist has less clients, less clients than a mechanic, right? And I think that a dentist has less tools than a mechanic, less tools. So I'm using more and less to talk about the quantity of these nouns. Now again, I can use better and worse to talk about the quality. So if, for example, a dentist has better education than a mechanic, um, maybe I wouldn't talk about the, qu the quality of the money, so that doesn't make sense, or maybe not even the quality of the clients, but definitely the tools, which one has a better quality? No, I think that a dentist has a better tools than a mechanic, okay? Good. Now, I just want to look at tools to talk about the last type of comparison. And I'm going to use the adjective small, but I want it to be a comparison. So smaller, smaller is the comparison. So if I think, well, which one has smaller tools? Well, if I look, definitely the dentist has small tools for the mouth, and the, I know a mechanic has big tools for the car, so I'm going to say a dentist has smaller tools than a mechanic. So again, using nouns, okay, for example, tools, I can talk about the quantity of tools, more or less tools than, I can talk about the condition or the quality of the tools, better and worse tools than, or I can use another type of comparative adjective, for example, smaller tools than, and I'm using those to compare with my nouns. Good. Okay, now again, I want to look at the idea of equal and unequal when we talk about nouns and comparing, okay? So, are a mechanic and a dentist, are they equal when we think about these nouns, okay? Now, first I want to talk about the type of nouns we're looking at. So, for example, count nouns. Count nouns are nouns that you can count. You can have one, two, three, four, five, you can count them. So that's appliable with tools. I have two tools or I have one tool. That's okay. Clients. Okay, I have two clients or I have one client. That's okay. I can count those. Now, education and money are non-count nouns. That means I cannot count them. So I cannot say I have one education or two educations. No, I can't say that. So I can't count it. Money, same thing. I cannot count it. I can't say ten monies. No, no, no. So these are non-count nouns. Okay? And these are important when we compare, especially when we're saying they're equal or unequal. So let's think. Okay? Now, if I say that two things are equal, I'm always using the as and as. Remember from that before. But it's important to think, well, for count nouns I use many, and for non-count nouns I use much. So if I want to say two things are equal, I can say a mechanic has as many tools as a dentist. Again, many for the count noun tools. A mechanic has as many clients as a dentist, right? So this means that a mechanic and a dentist are equal in the amount of tools and the amount of clients they have, okay? Again, if I'm going to use a non-count noun, then I'm using much. So a mechanic has as much education as a dentist. Maybe that's not true, but that's an example. Or money, a mechanic has as much money as a dentist. Again, maybe that's not true, but it's an example. But remember, I'm using much for the non-count nouns. I'm using as and as to say that they're equal. Well, how do I say that they are unequal? Well, to do that, I have to change the verb has, and I want to make it negative. So the negative of has is doesn't have. So if I want to say they are not equal, I'd say a mechanic doesn't have as many tools or as many clients as a dentist. And that means that the dentist has more, right? The dentist wins, right? Or a mechanic doesn't have as much education as a dentist. Or a mechanic doesn't have as much uh, money as a dentist. Again, so they are not equal if I say doesn't have as much or they're not equal if I say doesn't have as many. But remember, I need to use many for count nouns and much for the non-count nouns. Good. Okay, the last way that we're going to compare is comparing with verbs, actions. So for example, works and earns. Remember, earns is the amount of money that the person makes, okay? 
So who does these things more? Who works more? Who earns more? Well, let's talk about it. So again, we can use more and less to talk about who does the verb more or who does the verb less. So for example, a dentist works more than a mechanic. Or maybe a dentist works less than a mechanic. Or a dentist earns more than a mechanic. Or a dentist earns less than a mechanic, okay? So using the verb and then more and less to talk about the amount that the person does the verbs, okay? Now again, we can talk about equal and unequal, right? So if I use the verb and then as much as, so remember, that's when I want to talk about two things that are equal. So I could say a dentist works as much as a, de a mechanic, or a dentist earns as much as a mechanic. And again, that's saying that they make the same amount of money or they work the same amount of time, if I'm using as much as, right? That's equal. But how do we make it unequal? Well, you have to make the verb negative, right? And if I'm going to make the verb negative, right, then I have to think about a dentist doesn't work as much as. So I don't need the S now because that's the S on doesn't. That's the S, the third person on the negative. So a dentist doesn't work as much as a mechanic, or maybe a dentist doesn't earn as much as a mechanic. So remember, the unequal, I make the verb negative, okay? So this is how I'm comparing with verbs, using the verb with more and less, or using the verb with as much as to compare. Good. So I hope this was helpful in explaining how we are comparing with adjectives. And with adjectives, we can use past participles as adjectives, and using comparing with nouns, and using comparing with verbs. So, good luck. A. A. Complete the sentences using the words in parentheses compared with a partner. More than one answer is possible. So in this exercise, you will complete the sentences and you have to correct what's, and you have to use what's between the brackets. For example, being a fashion designer is, being a fashion designer is interesting being an accountant. So interesting here is what an adjective. So we can use this adjective. Is more interesting than being an accountant. So number one, being a fashion designer is more interesting than being an accountant. Two, a TV reporter's job is a firefighter's job. A TV reporter's job is dangerous than a firefighter's job. I have here the verb travel. A police officer travel a flight attendant so who travels more of course flight attendant who travels less of course police officer so a police officer travels less than a flight attendant A factory supervisor, the verb earn, a volunteer teacher. So here we use verb in comparison. A factory supervisor earns more than a volunteer teacher. A factory supervisor, a factory supervisor 
earns more than a volunteer teacher. 5. Long distance truck drivers have have and we have the word hours bank teller long distance truck drivers have worse have worse hours than bank tellers have worse hours than worse too bad have worse hours than bank tellers you know a teller is someone who works in a bank Six, pilots usually have education, airport security guards. So here we use the noun. So we can say pilots usually have more education than airport security guards. More education than. Seven. A doctor. A doctor is trained a medical assistant. A medical assistant? This is like an assistant doctor. This job is more than the nurse and less than the doctor. Trained, this is the PP, past participle. So a doctor is better better trained better trained than a medical assistant better trained than a medical assistant eight a social worker isn't pay it pay it past possible a pharmacist of course a social worker is not is not better paid than a pharmacist. A social worker isn't better paid than a pharmacist. Page 12, exercise 9, pronunciation. Stress with compound nouns. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice that the first word in these compound nouns has more stress. Then add two more compound nouns to the chart. Zookeeper. Firefighter. Bank teller. Truck driver. Gossip columnist. Guidance counselor. Stress with compound nouns. What's a compound noun? Compound noun when we have two words and we ha and we make a new compound noun. Example, when I have the word bank, this is a noun. Teller, another noun. So we make a compound noun, bank teller. When I have, for example, bus noun plus driver, another noun, we have bus driver a bus driver a compound noun so here we have different compound nouns and the stress is on the first noun we say zookeeper zookeeper firefighter pa bank teller bank teller truck driver gossip columnist guidance counselor so the stress here is on the first part is on the first noun and what's the stress stress is to make the sound louder longer and higher here we should add more compound nouns examples bus driver taxi driver bus station bus stop traffic lights police station p 
half tafis. So here, number B, group work, which job in each column would be more interesting and why? Here you choose, you choose a job and you tell your friends what is the most interesting job. Zookeeper is a person who takes care of animals in the zoo. Firefighter, firefighter is a person who puts out fire. Bank teller, bank teller is a person who works in a bank. Truck driver is a person who drives a truck, a lorry, truck, lorry, a very big car. Gossip columnist is a person, is a, is a journalist who writes about artists, actors, singers, and he writes about their lives. Guidance counselor, guidance counselor. So choose the best job and make a discussion between you and your friends. Exercise number 10, listening, summer jobs. Listen to three people talk about their summer jobs. Number the pictures from one to three. You write one, two, three for the pictures. Page 12, exercise 10, listening. Summer jobs. Part A. Listen to three people talk about their summer jobs. Number the pictures from one to three. One. So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in. Uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you! One. Which picture? Of course, this picture number two. This is Carlos. What's his job? Carlos? He likes as a tutor, a tutor, American tutor. He gives private lessons to kids. Does he like his job? We answer also. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? Does he like his job? Yes, he likes his job a lot. Because the kids, the kids, the children, the kids are fun are fun to work with and he gets to choose his own hours so he works as a tutor as a tutor for groups of children or kids maybe one kid or two kids together he uses a computer he likes his job a lot so this is Mr. Carlos and he's, he's very happy because he can choose his working hours. Two. Two. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef. Vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. Two. What is the picture? Of course, this is number two. Picture number two. This is Paul, and he's working as a chef in a kitchen. He's working as assistant. He assists. He helps the chef in the kitchen. So, does Paul like his job? No. 
Paul doesn't like his work because it's really hard and the kitchen is really hot it's really hot in the kitchen what does he do he cuts stuff vegetables to the chef he helps the chef also he washes the dishes he doesn't like his job can he quit no he can't quit he can't leave the job why because he needs money so what kind of job did you find for the summer i'm working for a marketing company i'm doing telephone marketing Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah. But I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night. So I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. Number 3, of course, Julia. This is number 3, picture 3. What's her job? She's working in telemarketing. Does she like her job? Yes, she likes her job a lot because she works with many other students bunch of students it means a group of students and they have fun they have a lot of fun when they are not making calls also her job is very easy it's really easy because she can read from a script she reads from a script so it's a very easy job and she gets to sleep late Exercise 11. Rule play. My job is the worst. Choose a job from the unit. Make a list of all the reasons why you wouldn't like it. Then about. Think about. Think about what's negative, difficult, or boring about it. What is bad? What are the bad aspects, the difficult aspects, and the boring about this job? Is that the salary? The money? The hours? The location, location, the place, is the job, the place of work is far from you or near from your house. B. Group work, rule play, discussion, explain why your job is the worst. Now here this is peer work between you and your friends, between you and your friend or you can make a group discussion. Example, A. I'm a teacher. And my salary is terrible, it's too bad. I'm a doctor. I have a higher salary than a teacher, but a teacher has better hours. See, well, I'm a taxi driver. My hours are not as bad as doctors, but I don't earn a lot of money. I don't have a good salary. Reading. Reading. Exercise number 13. Help. How can I find a job? Make a short list of things people should do to find a job. To find a job, what should you do? You should send your resume or CVs to a lot of companies by the internet. You should email your CVs should ask your friends to help you. What could you do to get a job? Then scan the message board. Has, has Riley 18 done any of these things? Now here of course, different people and they're chatting on the internet. They're talking. One, I've been I've been job hunting for a year. Job hunting 
searching for job. I've been searching for job for a year with no luck, but I didn't get a job. I wasn't lucky. I have done all the right things. I graduated with a degree in information technology. So I got a degree. I got a bachelor degree in information technology, IT information technology. Everybody says you can't go wrong with IT. If you have IT, IT degree, information technology, of course you will get the job. I've sent my resume to lots of local companies. I sent my CV to a lot of companies. I dress professionally. I dress professionally. This means I dress formally. I dress a suit and answer interviews questions well and answer the questions very well. But, but I, but I haven't gotten a single job offer. But I didn't get a single job or a, or an offer for a job. Other applicants have work experience. Of course. The people who apply for jobs have work experience. How can I get experience if no one offers me a job? Help. How can I get this experience if I didn't get the first job? Please help me. Now, other people on the internet will tell him what to do. Eric Jones. Eric Jones. What kinds of jobs are you applying for? I figure you're aiming too high. You are putting, you're putting high goals. Very, very high goals. Don't be too proud. You should be humble. You should be humble. Search for other jobs. Entering the job market for the first time requires you to be modest. Be modest. Be humble. Be humble. Good luck. He means here don't start to work as a programmer, for example, in a multinational company. But maybe you start to make programs or programmer for local companies. And for easy programs, Maggie, Maggie, Maggie KS is going to give him advice. The thing about IT, the thing about information technology is you need to specialize to be special, to be a special person. I work in medicine, diagnostic imaging. So Maggie is working in medicine in the field of medicine. And she diagnoses, she diagnoses diseases by imaging. Stuff like PET and MRI scanning. MRI scanning, it means when someone is sick, the doctor asks him to go MRI scanning. This is a room for rays and they use magnetism for deciding the disease. It scans the organs inside the body. Uses complex software that can only be operated by highly specialized people. So these job need people who uses This job need highly specialized people, people who are very specialized in computer because these things or working in the field of medicine now uses a lot of devices, a lot of machines, a lot of computers which needs complex software. So we need specialized person. We need a person like you in a job like this. So don't search to work as a programmer. You could be a user for one of the difficult programs in the field of medicine. Jackie, Jackie underscore S. I had the same problem as you. I graduated in IT. I graduated in information technology. I finished my degree too. Then I went to a career, a career counselor. So I didn't work in the same field. I didn't work in information technology. 
I worked as a career counselor. She made me realize. So working as a career counselor made me realize I am more suited to a job with people than one with computers. Jackie found out, discovered that she's more successful with working with people than working with computers. I am a really sociable person. I am a really friendly person. I applied for work in telesales, telesales, telephone sales, telemarketing, and got a job immediately. So here, Jackie, Jackie didn't work in information technology. She worked in telesales in a company and she prefers to work with people and talk to people which is better than working with computers I love it I love my work now I talk to people on the phone all day I talk to people all the phone all the day why? to sell products Lewis 005 Don't just sit there and expect the job to come to you. Don't sit at home and wait the job with the work to come to you. No. When job hunting, when searching for job, the three most important things to remember are location, location, location. The most important thing is the location, the place. What does it mean? Head the streets and go where the jobs are so go to the companies and apply for them make interviews and search for something suitable for you not just in IT not just in information technology not only in your field but in any field in anything you think you're gonna be successful in it table 9 underscore 5 there are so many more interesting jobs than working with computers. There are a lot of interesting jobs, interesting jobs, exciting jobs that you can work, which of course are different than and better than working with computers. Why does everyone think IT is so special, information technology is so special, it's a special work. Everyone has to eat and drink, so everybody needs to eat and drink. If you ask what is number one for people, people need eat, food, drink. Why don't you open a coffee shop or restaurant? Yes. Why don't you have a coffee shop? You have your own business or you have a restaurant where you where you prepare food, where you offer food for people. Coffee shops and restaurants are very successful businesses. So this is better than working in IT, but just to start. So here we have different opinions. Yes. To Mr. Riley 18, and they try to advise and help him. To get a job and work instead of sitting at home. A. Read the message up. Read the message board. Where do the senses belong? Write the username of the person who probably made each comment so here you write the name of the person like maggie underscore ks and you write the name just read the passage and write the answer also this is number a number b whose advice would riley 18 most likely follow in each of the situations write the user's name here you write the name the user's name
C. Group work. Whose comment do you think is the most helpful to to Riley Etienne? Why? What advice or comment will you offer? So you're, what's, what's about your opinion about this problem? How can you help him? What's your advice for this guy and for this person? So I wish you all good luck. We have finished now. This is going to be homework. You will answer these questions of the passage. They are very easy. Number two, please keep the words by heart. Listen and repeat. Watch the video. Answer three pages of the workbook. Enter change three. Unit two, part two. Go to www.interchange.com www.cambridge.org slash interchange arcade slash for more exercises watch the video of interchange interchange 3 fourth edition unit 2 this video is related to Cambridge University also Watch the videos of Mr. Kyle Relfson. Wish you all good luck. Finally, like it, share it, and subscribe.